Survival medicine is a holistic approach when dealing with medical emergencies and survival situations. When some natural or human inflicted disaster has hit a region, or in situations where one knows that no medical help is coming their way, where you have to deal with an emergency on your own. In other words, it deals with do or die situations. Survival medicine is technically a fusion of survival sciences and medical sciences. Who can benefit from survival medicine? Of course, soldiers who are exposed to ominous and threatening conditions. Survivalists, preppers and adventurers, hikers, tourists, people living in high-risk zones and areas, people living in remote areas, people with no prior background of first aid or medical solutions, and anyone with interest in survival sciences. What are the advantages of knowing survival medicine? For example, there are only a few medical clinics in wilderness and the person is exposed to entire spectrum of environmental stressors such as heat, cold, infection and many others. The knowledge of survival medicine lets you develop realistic expectations while doing risk management. It gives you self-confidence in uncertain environments. It gives you the spirit to help others when no expert is available on the scene. It promotes preparedness when dealing with emergencies and diseases in do or die situations. And of course, the gold standard hallmark of giving you a sense of self-reliance. What are the disadvantages of not knowing survival medicine? If you do not know nothing about survival medicine, you may be exposed to events of helplessness when you know at the back of your head that medical help is not on the way. You may not be able to even treat trivial or the most common infections that are otherwise easily treatable. Low morale in survival situation. Depression and irritability or even death in worst case scenario. So what is unique about survival medicine? Survival medicine is different from emergency medicine in the sense that emergency medicine is more focused on dealing with emergencies faced in clinics and hospitals. Whereas survival medicine is unique because it deals with situations when a person is in the middle of nowhere and medical help is not on the way. So what is coming next? 
In my upcoming videos, we will discuss the most common infections and diseases that occur in survival situations. We'll see as to how to take preventive measures and how to stabilize the situation and much more. So stay tuned and fingers crossed.